Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Black Clover Episode 6. Alrighty guys, so last episode we had our characters finish up some of the fights, right, that happened. Uh, and we got a little bit of recap on Asta's fight as well. We had the important characters get designated to their groups. We had Yuno going to the Golden... The Golden Dawn, yes, that's what it was. And I actually had to go back and look at the episode because that was one thing that I totally forgot was what the name of his thing was. And uh, I wanted to briefly mention it in the uh, description of one of the previous, or the previous video, I think. Um, so we have Yuno going his separate way, maybe. I don't know how much it's going to focus on him now. It's going to be kind of interesting. And then we have Asta, who got picked by the Black Bulls, was it? It was like something Bulls. I think it was Black Bulls. Crap, I knew this too last week. I didn't even have to look it up last week. You know, I forgot. Um, but anyway, uh, they they seem like they're going to work them pretty hard, which is pretty interesting. I can't wait to see like what his work regimen is going to be like, what life's like as a... Wizard King Mage Knight. Yes, Mage Knight. <laughs> um, I think, is he still in training or is he officially a Mage Knight now? I'm actually not sure if he's completely a Mage Knight now. But anyway, uh, I'm sure we'll find out very quickly. So, um, yeah, I look forward to how the story progresses now with Yuno being split and and everything. And I'm excited to learn more about Yami and his his crew and stuff like that. So... Let's jump into this episode and see what they teach us this episode. Alrighty, guys. So I'm sure you guys know by now I'm doing timer based. So get your footage ready. I'm going to do a countdown and we are going to start the episode. So get that footage ready. And five, four, three, two, one, now. TV Tokyo. There'll also be a little eight second clip um, to help you guys sync. Yes, our little beginning showing off how badass the the first Wizard King was taking down this enormous demon. Yes, the Wizard King it became a legend. Oh, I'm also going to watch the opening this time, so that's going to be cool. Hopefully I'm not watching it too early, but I'm pretty sure I've been told that uh that episode 6 is when I can when I can watch it without any spoilers. It was either 5 or 6, so I waited till this one. Yes, you know, got the option to pick from everybody, and he picked the Golden Dawn with the he-she. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry, that might be offensive. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it in a bad way, I just think she's a girl pretending to be a guy. But, oh, I loved this, I love the whole, like, showing off their magic power by just emanating an aura. I've always loved that in anime, I talked about that a lot last episode. You're funny, kid. Join me. Okay. So he said they joined the Magic Knights, so... Yep. And he says that they joined, like, the crappiest squad out of all of them or whatever. Yep. The Black Bulls. Okay, that's right. Opening time, baby! Let's see what's up! Bunch of grimoires! I kind of saw those, like, when I went to go minimize each time before. Oh, I didn't see the bird whip. Interesting. All the birds with Asta like that. Oh. I like his outfit. The Black Bulls, six. Cool. That's kind of cool. They integrate the uh, the episode like title and number in their opening each time. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, him standing on the broom. Yep, that was a little bit of a spoiler to see. Oh. Running through the... Oh, jeez. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Some stuff we haven't seen yet, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Asta was riding the broom with the the princess lady, who is apparently... I mean, I kind of figured we weren't done with her part of the story, but... Oh, pulling out the sword. So cool. Oh, their outfits are neat. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I think I, I probably could have watched that earlier and it would have been that big of a deal. What's this? Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so this is one of those... Only nobles can be part of this. Alright. So now even Yuno has... I guess Yuno has always had that little, like, boonies thing referred to him as well, but... He has a little ways to climb up to. It's not just smooth sailing for him. Even though he is very strong and things are a bit easier for him. He's full of dirt. He's just gonna try again, isn't he? Whoa. Ugh. So I think that I think that guy right there, the one f flinging fireballs. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Uh, I think he was the one that was on the front of the broom in that in that opening. Ugh. Representation of my character, just eating cakes and stuff the whole time. Yes. Oh. The big dude. Alright, so this is just chaos. <laughs> is he gonna yell and introduce himself? Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Asta. I'm gonna be the Lizard King! Jesus. Oh, little sister. Sister lover. Oh, God. What? She's just going to town on the food. Uh-oh. This is gonna be an, an important hit. Is it gonna hit someone? Yup. <laughs> of course, Asta. Alright, when's Gammy gonna step in and quiet them all down? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Oh, man. It's cool, he has, like, boots. Or the boots are, like, magic boots. This is insanity! What's going on? In the name of my angelic sister! Oh, here he comes. As he punches and breaks the wall. Oh my god. Oh. That guy is way bigger than I thought he was. Oh my god, she's in like her underwear too! Not just a bra! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. I want to eat it. Hmm. 
<laughs> he am is just oh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought he was gonna say he's eating it up. Oh, where is he? Oh. But well, why are you fooling around over there? <laughs> what was your name again? <laughs> oh. Oh, they're introducing to us, like, Asta. Okay. I was like, wait, is he new too? I get it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but he has to be loyal to Sister Lily. <laughs> yes. I love you, Asta. Ugh. Gross. My hero also censored the vomit with rainbows. Oh my god. Love Volita? Was that what it was? I have to try to remember these. I think her name was Vanessa. Shoot. I should definitely remember these guys. I'm going to try to do better now. Okay, here we go. That's his sister Mary, right? Yeah, I remember her name. Okay, we're probably not going to learn his name, right? Because he only cares about his sister. Okay. Gauchi. Charmy Pepiston. <laughs> Pepitson. Gray. I don't really get him, but he's a good guy. Magnus Swing. Alright. Fenru Rulikas. Yami. Sukehiro. I'm never gonna remember all their names. I'll remember Yami. Maybe a couple of the others. I'll do my best. I should probably write them down. Yeah. <laughs> my head hurts. Your height and volume of your voice are all out of proportion. Wow. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he does. They look cool. I like them. <laughs> oh my god, that is creepy as hell. What the hell? Oh, that little mouth out of his mouth, or that little hand out of his mouth. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Alright, time for initiation, guys. What is it going to be? Is it going to be a fight? Ah, oh, they can fix it with magic. I was actually going to say, how do they keep this rundown house looking so rundown if they destroy it all the time? But they fix it with magic. Fight me. Okay, it's a trial. Might not be a fight, but is it a fight? I kind of want to see Asta just, like, smack him with a giant sword. <laughs> like, have all of his confidence and over-exaggeration just shattered. Oh, 
Oh, guts and stamina. 5,000 sit-ups. Oh, he's used to all this. I love the music. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Oh, he actually cracked it. <laughs> what are the, what's with the birds? Imagine if the birds actually have some crazy story element later on. He has some guts. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, the hand's bigger. No, stop it. Oh. So you either block or dodge my magic attack. Okay. All right, Asta. Uh, swipe that thing away with your sword. Come on. Oh, is that guy going to stop him, maybe? Okay, so maybe Asta can't handle this. I'm thinking the other guy's going to stop it. Such a big sword. Wool sparkle. Oh, he's taking out his bat. He reminds me of the uh, the One Punch Man character, the the bat guy. That's like S class or whatever from season one. I haven't seen season two yet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. He's dodging a lot of them. He hasn't even used a sword yet. Oh, the true test. Oh, he put the bat away. Uh-oh, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> What's it going to be called? Exploding fireball! Oh, he pitches it instead of hits it with a bat! Shine! <laughs> swing your sword! Oh, I'm dead. Why didn't you swing your sword at it? Oh, <laughs> what is this? Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez. True. <laughs> His brain shut down. Oh. 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 Oh, God. Hitting it with the flat end maybe disperses it more? Oh, he reflected it back! <laughs> Is he immune to his own fire? <laughs> I hope so. Ah, so he, that's what he was going to do, but he didn't need to. Yeah. Hmm, so that's an aspect of a sword that repelled it. I had no idea. Wait, is he dead? Nah, he's okay. 
<laughs> I was able to nullify it in time. <laughs> so he can take damage from his own magic. He's gonna welcome him with open arms, isn't he? Maybe? <laughs> yeah, not half bad. <laughs> I like you, Shrimpsta. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. Oh, who's this? Oh, the girl! Wait, is she a part of the Black Bulls? Interesting. She had the little trench coat on. You're a real man. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, now they're all interested in um <clears throat> the second initiation. Let's try and kill each other. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. Ah. Oh. She's my favorite character. Uh, she can eat it anyway. Oh no, she's not my favorite character anymore. Uh, he still got some. Oh, he got one. Nice. Are we going to get to see him in it this episode? I want to see him in it. Aww. Is he gonna cry? <laughs> Using magic to get him dressed. Nice. I guess just putting it over him. Oh. Nice. Cool. <laughs> is... Is Yanny's only around one of his shoulders because of how big he is? It just doesn't fit? <laughs> he doesn't have one his size? I was... I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Yeah! No, oh, he's so happy. They seem like a bunch of quirky and interesting characters. It seems like it's gonna be a, a fun time. But what is up with her? Yeah. The other new crew. Okay, so she is new. Whoa, interesting. Huh. I didn't get that personality from her the first time. Hmm, right? Like, didn't she seem more of, like, a innocent, happy, just want to, like, earn stuff her own way? She seemed like a very good person. Huh. Interesting. Do, 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 That was such a fun episode, though, guys. Like, the, so the whole episode took place basically at the entrance to the house and in the front, like, in front of the house. But it was so much fun. Like, we didn't need to go anywhere. Like, they, they pulled me in. Like, that was, that was a good time. Honestly, like... In in terms of minute to minute entertainment value, 
I think this might have been my favorite episode so far. Like, the show's been pretty good. I've been enjoying it from the beginning. But there was something like, this episode was just like, it was over before I realized it. There was no, like, dead points. Like, I really like the episode where Asta fought in, like, a little test to become a, a mage knight. Alright, hold on, let's stop this right now. Alright guys, so that's the end of episode 6. So, so yeah, the uh, what, what I was just saying during the ending was, um, I really like the whole, the whole, the episode as a whole, but for as for previous episodes, I really like the one where Asta fought the Baja guy and just completely annihilated him, but that was only like a very short segment at the end of the episode, and the rest of the episode was introducing a crap ton of people's names that I, I just don't have the memory unless I write it down and look it over or hear them enough that I'm going to remember. So that whole section of the episode was kind of a little bit lackluster for me personally. But um, but for this one, it was like every minute it was like something fun, something exciting happening. You know, it wasn't... There wasn't really any dull periods, so I think that's why I'd say out of the six episodes we've seen so far, which isn't much, this is my favorite one. But, but yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Man. So, we got introduced to all the characters. They were, when they when they first entered the place, they were basically just chaotic. It... It reminds me a little bit, and I wonder if they got some inspiration from it, is Fairy Tale a little bit, right? In the guild hall where they're always, like, you know, beating each other up, being weird, you know, like... <clears throat> even Fairy Tale had that one girl that's, like, drinking the whole time, Kana, uh, for those of you who've seen Fairy Tale, and stuff like that. There's always, like... You know, the each character is quirky in their own right. They're fighting in the hall. They they don't care about damaging it and stuff like that and and all that. So it it reminds me a little bit of that. Obviously, like they might not have gotten any inspiration from it. It might just be something that it reminds me of, but but it was fun. It made it feel energetic and alive rather than what I imagine you knows is like where they're you know, the first guy we met outside of the captain that's in that squad is just talking about how you know from the boonies and he's not royalty or anything and he seemed very uppity and not very fun, you know. So I imagine granted, you know doesn't seem like the kind of person that really enjoys the the wild and crazy aspects of life like uh like Asta tends to get himself into, even though I don't even know if Asta likes it, but he just kind of like pulls himself into those situations. But, um, but Yuno is more like calm, almost like a royalty sort of thing. So, you know, I think he'll fit in there, but it won't be as exciting to experience his like day to day there, I think. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I just realized that. There might not be that much discussion in this episode, even though I really friggin' liked it, but we didn't, like, learn much. We got we got some of their names, which I'll try to remember them. Maybe I'll go back and write them down, or maybe in the next episode I'll go and write them down, but I'm sure we'll be refreshed with them, like, calling each other by their names, and I'll, I'll figure out their nicknames they have for each other and stuff like that, and that'll probably be easier to learn, maybe, but, uh... But the fight this episode was pretty cool. It was like, you know, I think he said he was the second in command unless he was lying. But it, it almost seemed like the guy, the guy with the teleport magic would have been the second in command, it seemed like. But, um, shoot, what was his name? His last name was Swing, the, the dude that hit the fireballs. Oh, crap. How do I already forget? My memory is so goddamn bad. Um. Let's see, I'm almost there, I think. Finro Rulikast, yeah. Magna Swing, that's what it is. 
So it seems like he was saying that he's the second in command, if that's accurate, and if I read that right. I don't want to sit here and try to find that as well. But uh, but if, if I read that right, then that means he is going to be kind of a... Uh... Shoot, where was I going with that whole thing? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. So let's rewind that a little bit. Basically, I was saying that I, I thought it was going to be Finral Rulikas uh, that was going to be the the second in command, but I guess it's Magnus Swing, as long as I read that right. And then uh, they they had their little fight, which was cool. He he seems to be very baseball themed, even though his look is very like punk rock kind of stuff. So it's kind of like an interesting design, you know. He doesn't seem like you know if you look at him without anything, it doesn't look like his magic would be baseball based, but it is so. Um, seems like he swings smaller fireballs rapidly, but then does, like, one big attack with a pitch, which is pretty cool. Um, and that, that whole part where things slowed down and the narrator started talking to us felt a lot like, like the Chimera Ant arc in Hunter x Hunter, where they slowed things down and had a narrator tell us what was going on, like, in the characters' minds because it was happening too quickly for us to really, like, comprehend it. So, you know, they slowed it down, which is cool. I like that aspect of a, of a show. I wonder how much that's going to translate into actual battles, right? Like, was this just a silly thing where they're like, you know, Asta's head went completely blank, you know? Or is this going to be, like, how the fights are where they slow things down and have a narrator explain to us what's going on? And then they speed things up to show us it in actual action, you know? Um, either way, whether it does it or not, I, I, I'm okay with it. Like, I don't have a preference of of which combat style I prefer or anything, but but uh, that that did just give me, like, crazy Hunter Hunter vibes, which is, which is cool because that's, you know, a really goddamn good show. I've watched through it. I've watched through Hunter Hunter, I think, two or three times myself, and then like three or four times watching reactors watches so it's a uh, it's a good one i i enjoy it but oh man but but yeah so that that part was cool it was cool that he was able to deflect the magic not just cut through it so you know as the narrator explained to us if he would have cut through it which is what i was telling him to do i would have been wrong you know uh, it would have just spread all the magic and fire around him. It probably would have still hurt him. Um, I don't know if it would have done as much damage as if he just took it, you know, but, but it turns out if he uses the flat end, he can use it kind of like a shield and just reflect things back, uh, which is pretty cool. And, uh, and the dude was like, I barely had had time to protect myself or nullify it, which means that he is able to take damage from his own magic it's not like one of those things where uh, because he does, like, fire magic, he's immune to fire, you know, sort of thing. Like, uh... shoot, I'm trying to think of an example from other shows. There's some other shows where they're, like, you know, I guess, like, live action stuff like uh, Mr. Fantastic, or not Mr. Fantastic, but the Fantastic Four, the whatever the flame on dude I, I don't I remember his name it's been a long time since I watched the Fantastic Four but um but he you know seems like he's completely immune to fire so if I remember correctly and and stuff like that so so I guess you can be hurt by your own element of magic unless there's someone who specifically like somehow trains themselves not to be I don't know if that's possible or whatnot but but yeah Either way, the fight was cool. It's cool that he didn't really win, but he just passed the trial, you know? And he did it kind of accidentally, so we're not here thinking that, like, oh, Asta's already better than the second-in-command of Yami, you know? It's not that. It's just he kind of lucked into turning his sword to the side with his reflexes, reflecting it back, and learning something new that he can do, so... But, yeah. And then at the very end of the episode, we had the um, the royalty girl that we had in the one of the previous episodes that wanted to participate in the uh, in the stuff. What's it called? 
Um, like all the different tests and stuff she wanted to earn her place. It seemed like she wanted to earn her place. But then her brother or what she she called him brother, I don't know if it actually was brother, stopped her and yeah. Said that royalty doesn't have to do that. She was already like guaranteed a slot. So why did she end up with the black bulls if she's royalty? Did she pick the black bulls? Or did her brother pick it for her? Or... <clears throat> I don't know. Because if she could have, like, anything she wanted, you know, why'd she go with, like, the worst one? I don't know. Maybe she wants her work her way from the bottom. But then, you know, when, when we saw her in that previous episode, like, I, I mentioned this during the... Uh, or, like, right after the scene, you know, during the the beginning of the outro... But, uh, she, she seemed like she was the kind of person that wants to earn her stuff. She doesn't want it to be given because she's royalty. And she seemed very, like, innocent and sincere. But then as soon as we see her in this episode, she calls the, you know, Asta an insect. And so he's the other new recruit, an insect, and just walks away, like... <clears throat> Why is she suddenly so bitchy when she didn't seem like maybe she's, like, personality changes when she's around her brother and when she's around other people? Or maybe that's how she feels, really? Like, is that her real personality? But in the next episode, we're gonna see her again and they're gonna introduce her and she's gonna be all sweet and kind. But really, in the back of her mind, she's just, like, thinking this all sucks and is stupid. But she's prominently featured in the opening, so I'm wondering what she has to do with the story. Maybe maybe the first arc is going to have something to do with her and, and stuff. I'm not sure, but... Or I guess... <clears throat> second arc? I don't know if you'd consider this an arc of him becoming a mage knight. I guess you could, but... Uh, whatever, wherever the story goes next, I wonder if it's going to include like her as a as a big part of it, you know? But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what what they get up to next, just because I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with these characters. Like, I, I always love, like, the quirky, crazy characters, you know, with, with their, like, insane personalities and stuff like that. It's always, it makes all the episodes fun, you know? Like, once again, that was another aspect of fairy tale that I enjoyed, was just how crazy the characters' personalities were and, like, over-exaggerated and stuff like that. And it made, you know, each episode fun, even when they weren't doing anything really exciting. Just seeing the antics that they get up to made it a lot of fun, so. But I think that's kind of all I gotta say for this episode. It was a, uh, it was a good one. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, but it, it also, like, like I said, it, it took place in kind of one spot, and the fight scene and watching them all goof off in the mansion was a big part of the episode and stuff like that. So, and then introductions and stuff. So it's really not like, you know, huge discussion topics, but I'm sure we'll get into some uh, deeper stuff to talk about as the show goes on. But yeah, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure if you are enjoying my reactions, you hit that subscribe button so you can see all the new content that's coming from me and all that good stuff. There's also my Patreon, which you can see you can ac get access to early access episodes before they release on YouTube. And then some benefits that will be coming in about a month. I'm working on them as we speak. Uh, I'm thinking about them and I'm also kind of waiting for the polls to finish because that's going to kind of determine um, how things go. Um, but so... Yeah, new features coming to that. Check that out. Link in the description. All that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>